An estimated 29 million cats and dogs in the U.S. live with families in poverty or at risk of poverty. People who can't afford to feed themselves often turn to food pantries and government assistance programs like SNAP, although SNAP benefits exclude food for companion animals. A recent study interviewed 40 low-income guardians visiting animal food pantries in North Carolina, Washington, D.C., and Massachusetts. Participants discussed their experiences purchasing animal food, factors that contribute to their food insecurity, and the strategies they use to feed their animals when resources are scarce. About 90% of the interviewees had incomes at or near the poverty line. 38% of guardians had run out of food for their animals in the past. Even when food didn't run out, 55% of guardians often worried about having no food to feed their animals. Money was a key factor, but not the only issue. Many guardians lived in what the study called pet food deserts, where access to grocery stores and pet shops is limited. Other issues included a lack of transportation, having to choose between feeding human and non-human family members, and other life problems. Animal guardians employed a number of coping strategies to make sure their animals were well fed. 75% of guardians give up luxuries or even necessities. For instance, many give up activities such as eating at restaurants or going on vacations, while others make bigger sacrifices, such as foregoing car and rent payments, toiletries, or home repairs. 70% of guardians provide human food to supplement their animal's diet, feeding their animals scraps and leftovers from their own plates. 68% of guardians employ strategies to make their animal's food last longer, like mixing human food with animal food or combining low and high cost food. 60% of guardians turn to their social support system for help, including asking other animal guardians for spare food or asking family or friends for money. 52% of guardians visit animal food pantries or human food pantries that offer animal food. Most use these services in times of desperation. 95% of guardians set money aside when they can so that they have money for animal food in tougher times. They might put money in a designated piggy bank or buy in bulk just in case they fall on hard times in the future. Both human and companion animal food insecurity cause stress and anxiety, and people facing them need active support. Animal advocates can do various things to help low-income animal guardians. First, we can push for government food assistance programs to include companion animals. Despite a 100,000 signature petition calling for this in 2018, the US government has yet to recognize companion animal food as a necessity. We can also support the creation of animal food pantries and more animal food to be provided at human food pantries. Finally, there is a dire need for other animal support services in low-income communities, such as affordable veterinary care. Together, we can support our fellow humans and companion animals, because no one should have to go hungry.